The exercises featured in the Novi Yoga Show are not suitable for everyone. It is recommended that you consult a physician before beginning this or any other exercise program. Hey yogis and welcome. I'm Melanie. We're here at Nova Yoga Studio in St. John's, Newfoundland. And today I have a practice for all you desk dwellers. So if you've been sitting too long, this is a practice to get moving, targeting the hamstrings, the hips, the wrists, and the shoulders. It's gonna be very yummy. Joining us today we have Milo and Susan. So if you're newer to the practice and you'd like some modifications, some assistance, you can check out what Milo is doing. And if you want to maybe check out some spicier bits of the practice, you can check out what Susan's doing there. So we're going to start seated. Um, and if you want to sit on a blanket as Milo is doing, if you're feeling tighter through your hips and you want to lift your hips up, you'll be able to sit with much more comfort and ease. And we're going to take the hands to the knees, palms down. We're going to take a big breath in through the nose. Let it out through the mouth and we're gonna get moving. So I'd like you to shift your torso to one side. We're going to move through some torso circles and you're going to, almost like you're shining your heart forward, circling the torso around, and then you're gonna round your spine, circle the torso back. Now think about stirring a great big pot with your torso like it's a spoon, and then add your breath. So inhale to let your heart shine forward, and then exhale to curl it in. One more time in this direction. Inhale. And exhale. And then you'll sit up nice and tall. Take another deep breath in. Out through your mouth. And we're gonna circle around the other way. So shifting your torso in that opposite direction. And letting the heart move forward. And then curl it in, rounding as you shift back. And then adding your breath into that movement. Inhale. And exhale. One more time in the same direction. Inhale. And exhale. And then sitting up nice and tall, hopefully feeling more free throughout your torso. And we're going to stretch the legs out in front. Just take a moment to find the sitting bones so that you can sit up nice and tall. And we're gonna bend a knee. And we're gonna step the foot to the inside of the thigh. And then we're gonna go ahead and step the foot to the outside of the thigh. We're gonna take a twist. So hug the knee. Set your hand, your fingertips behind you. And with your inhale, lift and lengthen. Then as you exhale, gently twist. And we're gonna hold here for a couple of breaths. And this should feel really nice if you've spent time sitting today or being very, very still. It's a really nice way to awaken the spine, but also to release tension that's built up along the spine. Give yourself another breath. Get a little taller on your inhale. And then exhale, maybe moving just a touch deeper into that revolve. And coming into the counter twist, and so we're going to take the torso in the opposite direction. Just slide the arm to the inside of the knee and spin. And then unwinding, come back to center and free the leg, stretch it long. And we're going to take that on the other side. So bending the opposite knee, set the foot at the inside of the thigh and then step the foot to the outside of the thigh. And we're going to hug the knee. Place the fingertips behind and let your inhale lift you up and let your exhale very gently take you into that twist, holding here and breathing freely. Maybe you're even thinking about some of the things that you're twisting away, anything that has accumulated in your body and your mind that you'd rather not take around with you anymore, anything you want to twist away, breathe away. And twists are very detoxifying and cleansing. One more breath to inhale, get longer. Exhale, twisting. And then coming around into that counter twist, sliding the arm to the inner knee and letting your torso spin in the opposite direction. And then coming back to center, free the leg, stretch it out long. 
And then from there, we're gonna come into hands and knees. So you can just sweep your legs behind you. You can push your blanket out of the way. And we'll come into wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, setting up for some spinal movement, cat cow. Spread your fingers wide, keep the arms strong and firm. And as you inhale, look forward, lift your tailbone, lift the chest. And with your exhale, press into the ground and feel that amazing stretch for your spine. Inhale, cow pose. And exhale. Think about the middle of your back rising up and beyond the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale. Just finding one more on your own there. And it's said that you're only as young as your spine is flexible. So this is a really nice way to feel quite mobile, youthful, like anything is possible. Give yourself one more cow pose, lift your chest. And then we'll press up into downward facing dog. So curling the toes under and sending the hips up and back. Have your hands shoulder width apart, the feet hip width apart. Spread your fingers wide, firm up your arms, hug in through the belly. And we'll give ourselves a little pulsation here in our downward dog to really stretch out through the back of the legs. So with your inhale, lift your heels high. With your exhale, let your heels melt down without jamming them down. Inhale, heels lifting. Exhale, see if you can release them a little deeper. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Hold there for a moment. And then coming on down to your knees. And from hands and knees, we're gonna give ourselves a sweep of the arm. We'll take it in to thread the needle. So sit back onto your heels, and as you do so, bring your left hand with you. So inhale, left arms, slides back. Exhale, circle the arm up and around. Really nice for freeing the shoulder. Inhale, same arm, sit back, slide the arm back. Exhale, maybe reaching a little higher, taking up even more space. Inhale. Release this one with a sigh. And then we're gonna thread the needle, so we're gonna work this arm all the way underneath the armpit. And we're gonna see if we can lower down to the head and to the shoulder. And from here, we're gonna take this right hip and shift it back so we're longer through our side. Press the right hand into the mat and see how that's gonna roll you open through your torso even more. You can stay right here. You can lift the arm up, or Susan's gonna take the half bind there if that feels better for you. I just want you to close your eyes, breathe, and feel how this position is almost flossing between your shoulder blades, functioning as a twist, a shoulder opener, a way to get rid of a lot of the tension that tends to accumulate in that area. Lower your hand if it was lifted, and free that left arm, come back to hands and knees. And let's take it on the other side. So sit back onto your heels. Inhale, draw the right arm back. And then exhale, take the arm up and around. Then finding that again. Inhale. Exhale, maybe finding even more reach, even more length. One more time. Inhale. And a big sigh. Gorgeous. Work the arm underneath so that you can lower to your head and to your shoulder. Shift your left hip back so that you're all squared up. Press that left hand into the mat, roll open through your torso, you can stay there. Maybe lifting that left arm, maybe wrapping it around the back. And enjoy what this pose offers you. And then lowering the hand if it was lifted. Freeing that right arm, come back into hands and knees. And we're gonna step up into ragdoll from this position. So step up one foot at a time and have the feet about hip width apart. Soften through your knees and completely relax forward. Just start to shake out through your wrists and maybe even give the wrists a little squeeze if, they've, if you've been working your wrists a lot today at a computer, a lot of writing, typing. Just give them a little hug, it makes some space. 
And then take a hold of opposite elbows and sway your torso from side to side. Check in with the head, make sure it's heavy. And then free your hands, let them drop. And then join your hands behind your back, interlace the fingers. And start to stretch the knuckles to the sky, coming into this amazing shoulder opener. See if you can draw the shoulders up away from the ears. And we're gonna roll up the spine, so keep the connection of your hands, chin to chest, rolling up. Taking your time to rise. And at the top, roll the shoulders back, lift your heart high to counter a lot of the rounding forward we tend to do when we're seated. And then free the arms, take them out to the side, up to the sky, stretch them up. And then take your arms wide out around and just rest your arms by your side. From here, with your inhale, lift your shoulders to your ears. And exhale, roll them down the back. That should feel really nice. In fact, close your eyes as you enjoy two more rounds. Inhale. Exhale, let this be incredibly soothing. Inhale, lifting. And a big sigh for this last one. And, and from there, we're gonna walk to the top of the mat if you're not quite there. And we're gonna take it through a sun breath. So setting your feet, maybe hip width, maybe a little closer, wherever you feel most stable. And on your inhale, take the arms wide, out and up, stretching your arms to the sky. Exhale, take your arms wide. Now bring your hands to the back of your thighs and massage all the way down the length of your legs so that you can give your hamstrings and calves some love. And then once you're in your fold, I'd like you to actually step onto your hands for gorilla pose. So see if you can slide your hand, one hand underneath each foot. Even if you need to bend your knees a lot, get the whole length of your hand under there. And that provides a really nice counter position for the wrists. A lot of the time we're weight bearing, we're typing. So this gives the hands, the wrists, and even the forearms a little bit of soothing, a treat, some love. Relax with the spine, the head, the neck. And then releasing your hands. Lift your spine halfway, bring your palms to your shins, letting the heart shine forward. And then touch your fingertips down, and we're gonna step the right leg back for warrior two. So right leg steps back, and you're gonna drop your heel down so the back foot is parallel with the back of the mat. Your front knee is bent, and you can come up on your own, or you can follow myself and Milo. We're gonna bring the hands to the thigh, and we're gonna sweep that right arm up and overhead, opening up into warrior two. So once you're up, just notice your stance, and you wanna make sure that your front heel connects to the back arch of your foot through that imaginary line. Your knee stacks right over your ankle. And as you look down, you can always see the big toe of the front foot. Sometimes this knee likes to curl in, but we're gonna keep the thigh opened up. Hug in through the belly, strong core connected, and take your arms out to the side. We're gonna open up the front palm, and we're gonna take it back. Inhale, peaceful warrior, stretch it back. Beautiful release through your side. And then just to warrior two, so exhale, coming back into your warrior two. Finding that again, open up the front palm, inhale, stretch it back. Exhale, warrior two. One more time, inhale. And exhale. And then straighten your front leg and parallel the edges of your feet. So notice if your feet need to be adjusted so that they're more in one line. Edges of your feet are parallel, and we'll join the hands behind the back. Interlace the fingers, roll your shoulders back, open up through your heart, through your chest, maybe lift the gaze up, and then we're gonna come forward, keeping the hands connected, and coming forward into the bound version of this fold. Keep your thighs active. Try shifting a little more weight forward into your toes so you can gain more in the stretch. Lifting the shoulders up away from the ears as the knuckles rise to the sky. And keeping your legs active to support you, lead with your chest, come all the way up. And free your arms out to the side. And then spin your left toes forward, find your warrior two. We're gonna release hands to your hips, 
pivot onto the ball of your back foot and smoothly step forward however many steps you need to take to step forward and to plant your feet. Let's take that again on the other side. Inhale, arms reaching out and up. Then exhale, arms wide. Bring your hands to the back of your thighs and massage all the way down the length of your legs. And then you're gonna slide your hands underneath your feet, getting the whole palm underneath each foot so your toes actually face the wrists and touch the wrists. Pressing down with the feet, maybe a little lift up with your hands as you fold a little deeper out over the legs. And then freeing the hands, and slide your palms up to your shins, lift and lengthen your spine. And then touch the fingertips down and we're gonna step the left leg back. So big step back with the leg. Grounding your heel so your back foot is parallel with the back of the mat. We're gonna rise up into warrior two. So you can come up in one movement or you can bring your hands to your thigh and sweep that left arm up and overhead. And once you're up again, notice your foundation and any adjustments that you need to make. Front heel connecting with the back arch of the foot. The knee bent directly over the ankle, opening up through the hips, opening up through the chest, but strong and active, supported through your center. Opening up that front palm and let your inhale take you back into your peaceful warrior. And then exhale, warrior two. Inhale, stretch it on back. Exhale. And one more yummy side bend. Inhale, take it back. And exhale. Straighten your front leg and parallel the edges of your feet, adjusting the stance so that the feet are in one line, edges nice and straight. And then join your hands behind your back. Interlace the fingers, roll the shoulders back, lift your heart high, and then take this forward into the fold, bound version of our fan pose. And again, keeping the legs strong as you shift slightly forward into the toes. Working towards straighter arms, knuckles lifting up, freedom throughout the shoulders, throughout the back of the legs. Then leading with your chest, let's come all the way back up to standing. Sweep your arms out to the side and turn your right toes forward so that you find your warrior once again. And bringing your hands to your hips, pivot onto the ball of your back foot and then smoothly stepping forward to the top of the mat, arms by your side. Let's make our way down through a sun breath. So inhale, lifting out and up. Exhale, take your arms wide, hands to the back of the thighs, massage all the way down the length of your legs. And then with your inhale, slide your palms to your shins, half lift of the spine. And then we're gonna come down into downward dog, so place your hands, step it back, one foot at a time, into that upside down V, so lift your hips to the sky, firm up your arms. Three pulsations, inhale, lift your heels high. Exhale, melt your heels down. Inhale. Exhale. One more time, inhale. Exhale, melt them a little deeper down. Hold this position, take a deep breath in. Sigh it out. Gently come down to your knees and sink your hips to your heels for child's pose, letting your arms reach forward and actually come up onto your fingertips so that your palms lift so that you can create all sorts of yummy space throughout your upper body. And we're gonna hang here for a few moments. And we'll see you when you come back. Interested in livening up your yoga practice? For more information on Melanie and Nova Yoga, check out novayogaonline.com or visit her at Nova Yoga Studio at 125 Longs Hill. Welcome back, and today we have a practice for all you desk dwellers, so if, you're, if you've been sitting too long, we're really getting moving today. So let's come up out of child's pose, and we're gonna take a seat. 
And we're gonna sit to face the long edge of the mat. And Milo, if you wanna sit on your blanket and at home, if you wanna boost your hips up again, you certainly can. We're gonna bring the soles of the feet together and we're gonna draw the heels in towards the groin. And from that place, you might actually wanna find your sitting bones, so drawing the flesh away from the sitting bones to encourage you to sit up taller naturally. And we're gonna take a hold of the toes, the ankles or the shins, whatever feels best. A little butterfly action of the knees. So inhale to let your knees rise and exhale just to let your knees fall so that we can find some space throughout the hips. Inhale, knees rising slightly. Then exhale, knees dropping a little lower. One more time, inhale. And exhale, keeping the knees wide and releasing to the ground. Inhale, lift your spine. And then exhale, fold out over your hands and your feet. Option to use your elbows to guide the knees a little deeper down. Or you can follow me. I'm just gonna walk my hands forward with the palms down. And the hips can get very, very tight when we're seated a lot, especially if we cross the legs when we're seated. So this is a nice way to really counter a lot of the sitting that we do and give back to the hips in a wonderful way. Rise up from your fold. And we'll bring the knees together. And we're gonna turn so that we're seated and we're gonna face the front of the mat. And so Milo, you can just slide off your block there. And so you're gonna sit at the middle of your mat, knees bent, feet on the ground, and you're gonna free your arms forward. We're gonna to start to roll down onto the back. Rolling slowly with control. And once you're all the way there, set your arms by your side, palms down. We're gonna set up for bridge pose. Walk your feet closer to, your, to you so your heels come in towards your seat and your feet are hip width apart. So coming up into bridge, we're gonna press into the feet, lifting the hips up off the mat. So you can stay here with your arms by your side, or you can follow Susan and I. We're gonna join the hands, and we're gonna roll the shoulders underneath the torso so we can get a bit more of a lift. And then from this place, pressing the feet down, pressing the forearms and pinky edges of the hands down. And this is such a wonderful pose to open up through the shoulders and the chest encountering a lot of the rounding forward that we tend to do when we're seated and when we're working. Also a great pose for boosting energy, stimulating creativity, giving you some extra juice for your day. One more big breath into the center of the chest. And releasing your hands if they're bound and starting to lower your hips, your spine back down into the ground. And give your knees a little sway from side to side. And this functions as a nice counter pose to the back bend. And then we're gonna hug both knees into the chest, wrap your arms around your shins, squeeze them in. And you're gonna set your right foot on the floor, but keep the left knee drawn in. And you're gonna cradle the back of your left thigh with your hands, and you're gonna extend your leg to the sky like you're standing on the ceiling. If you'd like, you can take a strap or a belt or a scarf, and you can hook onto the foot, and that might give you this more ease in the stretch. So from here, can we do something first? Can we point the left toes? Can we spread the left toes and then flex the left foot? Make sure that your shoulders are softening, your jaw is relaxed and you can feel that you're just very gently guiding the leg in to deepen the stretch if you'd like. And then bending that left knee, Milo, you can unhook your strap, just place it by your side. And we're gonna bring the left ankle to the right thigh. And that left knee is gonna move away from us and our left foot is flexed. So some of you will pause here and this will be enough in your hip opening. If you wanna go deeper, reach down, cradle the right thigh, pick the leg up and draw it in towards you. So I'm gonna pause here with my hands at the back of the thigh. I think Susan's actually gonna reach around to the shin. So if you want more, you can see what she's doing there in her reclining pigeon. And take a couple of deep breaths into that outer left hip. Another good way to make space throughout the hips. And then lowering your foot down, on crossing the ankle. Squeeze both knees into the chest, hug the shins in. Keep the right knee in, 
set your left foot on the floor. Cradle the back of the right thigh with your hands, extend your leg to the sky or strap the ball of your foot. Once the leg is lifted, point your right toes, spread your right toes, flex your right foot, and take a couple of breaths here, ever so gently, guiding the leg in. Keep it long and strong, but try not to pull or force. Stay relaxed throughout the upper body. And then softening the knee, unhook the strap, and you're gonna bring your ankle to your thigh, and you're gonna have that right knee move away from you as the right foot is flexed. Some of you will stay here. Some of you will cradle the back of that left thigh, drawing the leg in to make this hip opening a little deeper. Maybe holding the shin if you want even more. and then set your foot down. Uncross your ankle. Squeeze both knees into the chest, hug the shins. Inhale, bring your forehead to your knees. And a big sigh to release. Stretching out into your relaxation, your shavasana. Feeling that there's more space in the body, really enjoying what moving has to offer you. I hope you feel wonderful, and I'll see you next time. Shanti. Hey yogis, we want to hear from you. Enjoy the show? Have a suggestion? We love your feedback. Send us a note at rogerstv.com or call 757-9600.